Welcome to Dodgers Daily. I'm Casey Porter. So glad you decided to tune in downtown Oklahoma City, Bricktown Ballpark. We have a very special guest this afternoon, this evening, whatever you want to call it. Bryson Brigman joins us. Bryson, thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's good to be here. Good to be out here in Chickasaw Bricktown Ballpark. And not too hot, but still hot. It's been hot, not as hot today. Yeah, yeah. not as bad today, but we'll take what we can get, right? Hey, you know, you can tell right there with that infectious smile, the positivity. One thing that really, you know, of course, I didn't really even follow you a whole lot till you came to the Dodgers this year. One thing that was really obvious right away, you love playing the game, you're super positive, you have that positive energy, that just sticks out. So where did all that come from? Uh, you know, it's it's just, just going through the ranks, just understanding that there's going to be ups and downs. I think early on in my career, it was a little bit tougher for me to let games go or, and things like that. But once I started realizing that, hey, everyone has their ups and downs and stuff like that, it just... I felt better coming to the ballpark when I was able to kind of flush it and just be positive and, you know, support your teammates. And, you know, when we're winning, everyone's doing well. So for me personally, it's just bring that good energy and and be a good teammate. And I think that's a big thing that the Dodgers really like to key on. It was one of the first things that they were really talking to me about is, hey, we just want you to be a good teammate, you know, be on time and, and, you know, do your work. So uh, I thought it was a great place for me. And I think it's really, uh, it's been solid. So I talk about that culture a lot hey be positive always look for the things that are that are going good and don't dwell on things that are bad be a great teammate be a good person first before you're a good baseball player that's real right absolutely yeah. absolutely I think um, you know a lot of people say he's a great player even yeah. better person I think that really goes a long way um, you know this game is a lot about relationships and you know you want a guy in the clubhouse who's gonna be picking his teammates sure. up and doing this like I want someone to pick me up when I'm struggling and stuff like that so I just try to do that for others and I feel like that comes back around in a good way and um yeah it's just more fun that way be positive have fun it's already tough enough this game so uh yeah just try my best to stay positive and pick up my teammates that's really have a little fun okay san jose area that's where you grew up sure now if if i have this right you commuted back and forth from san jose to la like once a week and and spent like three days a week in la so you could play hockey sir is that correct in high school i saw how did all that work so san jose sharks were you know big i'm from san jose like you said so the sharks were you know big in town when i was you know growing up and everything and they had a couple ice rinks around i actually went to my dad's co-worker's son had a uh, skating rink birthday party type yeah. deal so we were skating around with the buckets and you know trying to learn it and everything and my dad just asked hey do you guys want to do it again and you know we did it kind of on our own a couple times and then it kind of evolved into hey do you guys want to play hockey and um, you know we're lucky enough to you know be able to do that and uh, eventually ended up getting not I wouldn't say recruited but kind of like you know I was you know I was playing well in the San Jose area and then you know California's not huge on hockey but there was a team in LA that got guys from everywhere you know they, they took you know it was like a big travel team basically yeah. um, so they asked me to come play for them and so that kind of started the you know flying back and forth and you know leaving on Thursday after school and going till you know staying in LA till about Monday I believe I'd yeah on Monday night so I'd be at school from Tuesday to Thursday which I loved right because you know I get a couple yeah. of days off on the homework or whatever heck yeah uh, I had an excuse you know you spend so, a weekend in LA man how, exactly how that was awesome yeah. and I had great great host families and, yeah. and teammates out there so they made it really fun you know a place for me to stay and everything like that so yeah I miss hockey I love hockey uh, I still watch and catch a bunch of sharp games in the off season when I can um, but yeah yeah hockey yeah, that was that cool. was the secondary sport so you had that experience plus you got to win three uh, world titles if you will one with a 16 u team two 18 u titles sure. so that had to be cool too right awesome awesome yeah we had uh, really good teams actually Cole Tucker who's you yes. know we're playing against he was uh, you know he was on that team so it's really good to see him we've been coming up through the ranks and everything like that um, it was awesome USA baseball is amazing anytime you get to wear you know USA across your chest it really means something to me for sure and to be able to bring back those gold medals um, you know those three times uh, was awesome it was awesome great experience great players um, and still coaches that I'll see um, around the league that I played for back then and they'll be like hey you remember that band of brothers team we had and um, 
It's awesome. I really would love to do it again, but you got to be pretty good to be on that team now. Yeah. So maybe I'll find my way up there uh, in a couple years. But uh, yeah, it was awesome. I'll do it again in a heartbeat. So two-part question. You get drafted in the 40th round by, I believe, the A's coming out of high school. You turn that down to go to San Diego, the University of San Diego. Of course, two years earlier, they had Chris Bryant. They had Connor Joe, who was with Oklahoma City yep. for a while and, and with Los Angeles Dodgers. Major League career. They had had draft picks in three consecutive years. So I'm sure that played a part in your decision to be a Torero, but other than that, why'd you turn down the draft to go to San Diego, University of San Diego, and why the Toreros? Yeah. So um, the draft thing for me was more of what they call kind of like a courtesy pick. I yeah. had been talking with the A's yeah. leading up to the draft, and that was one of the things where my price was basically just too high. You yeah. know, they said, right. hey, you know, I wanted a you know a million dollars or whatever, and I just wasn't that type of player yet. Um, so for me, it was kind of... I never really thought much about going in the 40th round or anything like that. It was more like, you know, a tip of the cap from the A's to me to say, hey, you know, we like you, you know, thanks for engaging with us and stuff like that. So I really appreciate them doing that for me because obviously everyone likes to, you know, get drafted out of high school. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 you know, it's a nice thing. It's definitely not something like, no matter where you get drafted, no you know, you get an opportunity. So um, for me, it was kind of more the, the money situation. I wasn't really doing that. And I wanted to go to college, honestly. Yeah. Um, and once I went to University of San Diego, I loved, uh, absolutely loved the city of San Diego. I mean, it's tough to beat. The weather's fantastic. Um, not a Padres fan, though, right? Not a Padres okay, fan. Okay, very no, good. We need, a, we need to make that clear. Okay. No, no, not a Padres <laughs> fan. No way. Um, but, yeah, no, I just I just loved the whole area out there. The campus is fantastic. The facilities with baseball really top-notch. Um, and, you know, they, they really wanted me, so it just seemed like a good fit. Pretty close to home, but not too, too close. Right. So um, I thought it was a good spot for me. For sure. Okay, so you grow up playing shortstop. You're a great player. You get drafted. All of a sudden, you show up, and you have all this talent in college. Kyle Holder's the shortstop there. He's yeah. an All-American. American, so you have to learn how to be very versatile right off the bat, don't you? For sure. Yeah, uh, Kyle is one of my good buddies still to yeah. this day. Uh, you know, he played short. I played second that freshman year. Um, absolutely fantastic fielder. I mean, you watch him. You watch him take ground balls one time, and you realize, okay, this guy, this guy can really pick it. You know. Um, so for me, moving over to second wasn't really much of a big deal. Um, I knew he was going to get drafted and everything, so I'd have a chance to earn the shortstop spot the next year. Um, but it was good just to learn from him, take ground balls behind him, and. Uh, uh, just kind of see how he moves and everything. Um, yeah, it was a good spot. You know, sometimes kind of like where I'm at now, right, with the Dodgers, you kind of have to find different positions to get yourself in the lineup. And at the end of the day, if, you know, if I can get some at-bats, that's that's really all I'm looking for. Find a way to help the team wherever it is, shortstop, mm -hmm. third, second, outfield, whatever it is, I'm willing to do it. So, um, yeah, I think versatility is big, especially in today's game, for sure. No doubt about it. So, do you think your experience in hockey, does that give you an extra edge? You know, this baseball, this is a big-time grind physically, yep. more so than people realize. Does that give you an edge, you think? I think a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think with hockey, you know, there's that toughness. Yes. That toughness. So you're getting hit. You're, you're giving out hits. People are chirping at each other and, you know, talking, John back and forth. Um, it just kind of gets you in that kind of competitive, you know, yeah. hard nose right. type of, you have to be, right? Yeah. Um, so I think that's kind of transferred over a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of the movements, too, like, you know, if you think of a slap shot, it's kind of similar sure. to taking a swing. So a lot of the things kind of transferred over. So I think it was a good secondary sport for me. Um, but beyond the mechanics and stuff like that, like that I do think the toughness um, kind of stuck with me a little bit at least I'd like to think yeah. I don't know yeah um, but yeah no it's it, baseball a whole different animal especially pro baseball you know you're playing every day uh, definitely wasn't doing that in hockey um, but you know I think it's definitely stuck with me as I've kind of gone through my pro career. So when you went up against the left field wall, showed no fear, went up, and I believe you robbed a home run the other day. I got it all over my social media as I thought about yeah, that and the awesome. toughness that hockey brought you there. Offensively, you're a guy who's always used the bigger part of the field, stayed inside the baseball, yep. a guy that's matched that with his speed. So talk about your offense again. You had, you had an opposite field home run the other night, too. So right, yeah. right, yeah. No, I'll, I'll get one or two. You know, uh, I'm definitely more of a contact gap-to-gap -gap type of hitter. Uh, pride myself on putting the ball in play and running hard um, I don't like strikeouts I know it's gonna happen but for me uh, you know my big thing is hey put your put the ball in play give yourself a chance you never know what could happen um, so I've just kind of always tried to play that way um, I think it served me pretty well obviously in today's game you know power and slugging really does kind of speak and kind of move you up the ranks um, and I think as I've gone deeper in my career I've started to develop that more um, but for me, I think the base core of my game is getting that good contact, you know, like you said, hitting the ball the other way, staying on baseballs, and um, 
just just be a tough out. That's kind of really what I'm trying to do. You've been in professional baseball since 2016, so you would know you played high-level college baseball. What things do you think you're good enough at right now to be a consistent major leaguer? I pride myself definitely on having good character, being a good yeah. teammate. I think that's, you know, that's a big thing. Obviously, if you want to bring somebody up to the big leagues, you don't want to hiccup, you know, whether it's on the field or, um, you know, in the clubhouse or anything like that. So just, just being a good teammate, I think is big. Um, I can play multiple positions. Yep. Um, I feel good out there. I can, you know, compete and, and give you what you need. Um, I think the bat is pretty consistent, it's quality, it's not super heavy and not super powerful, but at the same time, I think there is a lot of good consistency in there, and I really do believe that I can help a major league team win. Um, so if I had to sum it up, yeah, I'd say character, um, the defense, you know, quality bat, yeah. and um, just the versatility I think is, is something that I can bring to a team and, and help somebody win a World Series one day. What thing would you say that you have to work on the most every single day to be a, a consistent major leaguer? I think uh, one thing, if I'm being honest about myself, is is continuing to work on my arm strength. I think it's been, um, you know, it's been okay in my career. I've had times where it's felt really good, and sometimes it's kind of been up and down. Um, but being here and working with some of the infield guys and even you know the outfield coaches, um, I've been able to kind of lengthen out my arm a little bit more, being in the outfield and kind of just understanding how the you know mechanics work. So that's the one thing I think I should really continue to focus on. I think it's been getting better. Um, other than that, you could say maybe maybe a little bit more slugging, yeah. um, but, but personally, I, I think that just with my game and what I bring to the table, that's not, not necessarily going to be make or break, um, as long as I'm playing good defense and um, you know I'm healthy and doing those types of things. So if I had to pick one thing, I'd say, yeah, just continue to keep getting the arm stronger and, and consistent. Multiple sports, you've earned everything that you've gotten in every sport you've ever played, so you have a great message for kids as far as what does it take to get in your position? Um, I think it just comes down to the determination, right? A lot of us get motivated and, yeah. you know, we have these sparks of, oh, I'm going to go and do this, but somehow finding a way to turn that motivation into uh, discipline yeah. and uh, a routine yeah. um, instead of, hey, when I feel good, I go for it. I'd say, you know, continue to find a way to, you know, just show up every day, work as hard as you can, don't focus on the results, focus more on the process, which can seem cliche. That's hard to do too. And it? it really is, especially in a game like baseball where you're failing 70, 75% of the time, especially at the plate, right? Um, so for me, it's, it's learning to kind of turn that switch off in your brain, continue to just show up every day, work hard, like I was saying, be determined. And, um, you know, look at me, I'm, you know, I'm 28, I'm still working out here and I haven't been to the big leagues, but at the same time, I've built a lot of um, good habits yep. and I've been around a lot of good players and I see how they do it. And, and like you said, I've seen what it takes to get there. And um, for me, I think that's, that's a big thing is showing up being the same guy every day, regardless of what your results were yesterday or they are today. Yeah. And um, just continue to work and believe in yourself is a big thing. You gotta have that belief in yourself before anyone else is gonna believe in you, so. Jason Martin, J Martin, who I believe he was here last year. I believe he's in Korea. He he made a comment that everybody's timetable is different. So yes. that really stuck with me. So sure. hey, uh, Bryson, thank you so much. I've got a chance to watch you all year. I've just I've fallen in love with the way that you play the game. You play it so hard. You're infectious, positive energy. I think if you follow Dodgers daily, I love the positive aspects of baseball. So thank you so much for joining. This has been a great pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. It's been awesome. Appreciate it.